Jesus is totally different. And this is what I was going to say. You compare the Lord Jesus far from him to any religious figure. Let me come. Let me look at all the religions in the world and with their leaders. Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, all the leaders of the world, you know, religions in the world, all of them. The, let's assume, let's assume this for a moment. The ultimate, the ultimate, these leaders could have done to humanity is the ultimate is one thing. Change a bad person into a good person. Let's say they brought some good values and morals and ethics and principles of life. The ultimate they could have done a favor to the human race was one thing. Change a bad person into a good person. The love of my life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, did not come to change a bad person into a good person. He came to change a dead person into a living one. In this, there is no comparison. It is only Jesus Christ of Nazareth as a human being on the face of this earth. He is the only human who dared to claim this statement and this truth. He said, he who hears my word and believeth in my word, even if he dies, he shall live. But he who takes my body and drinks my blood will live in me forever. I am the life and the resurrection. All the, all the religious leaders, what do they say? We are alive, not the life. Only Jesus said, I am the life, the light of the world. I am that I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who could say this? So when you look at the historical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when you look at the witnesses, the eyewitnesses, the eyewitnesses who lived with him for three years and four months and documented everything they saw, everything they heard before the crucifixion and after the resurrection, they saw him, they documented it. Isn't that a valid a valid eyewitness testimony you want me to believe in someone who came in 635 AD and their book was written 200 years after the prophets coming you want me to believe in that and wipe away eyewitness doc being you know accounts eyewitness accounts documented believe me Heaven is amazing. Hell is hell. Heaven is beautiful. But I can assure you, again, I'll say this out of love and respect. It is not my job to debate. That's not the Lord didn't send me for this. The Lord sent me to do one thing. Be that voice in this wilderness of this world. But let me tell you one thing. I will put my life on the line on what I'm saying now. I will never walk away, never change. Nothing will change me. When you go to heaven, I pray that all of you make it. You will only find Jesus Christ there, the way to heaven. And he is heaven. When you look at him, see the stunning. When you look at Jesus, he is heaven. He is the reason why heaven is beautiful. He is the reason why that place exists. It is Jesus. This truth has got nothing to do with you Christians. <laughs> nothing to do with you Muslims. Nothing to do with you Buddhists, atheists, Hindus, Shintos. When I don't know whatever religion is there. Nothing to do with that. It's got to do with the truth. I saw that. I lived that. And I saw hell as well. I can tell you about Satan, but not the time now.